Let's go now to our special series, Inside Yemen. CGTN's Natalie Carney visits the war-torn country, which is experiencing one of the world's worst humanitarian crises, to see how the conflict has affected the healthcare system there. Yemen is currently facing the largest documented cholera epidemic in modern times, and experts expect it only to get worse. Cholera is a bacterial infectious disease that is spread through contaminated water and food. If not dealt with in a proper and timely manner, it can be deadly. This is Samira and three-year-old Omar. They are twins. They both have cholera. At first, the kids were playing in dirty places. Then they got diarrhea. And because the children are playing together, it goes from one to the other. The family are refugees from Somalia and live in this makeshift space in Aden with no sanitary facilities. The children spend their time outside playing with other neighborhood kids in bare feet. Just down the alley, four-year-old Abdul Reza also has cholera. This neighborhood registers the highest number of cholera cases in all of Aden. Every day, health advisor Gamal Abdul Mohammed Abu Bakr goes around to educate mothers about proper protective measures such as hygiene. <laughs> We enter people's houses to educate them about hygiene and to tell them if there is a case of diarrhea, they have to come to the hospital to be cured. If you keep them an hour, two hours at home, this hour may be fatal for him. An hour leads to death. Half an hour can lead to death. The cholera ward at Al Sadaka Hospital has seen an increase in patients within the last month. In August, it was only three to four cases a day, but yesterday it was 20 cases just in the morning. The main problem is the lack of water. Water is not available. Even we are suffering from that at home. Water is very rare. We get water only a few hours a day. More than one million people had cholera between 2016 and 2018. Nearly 2,400 of them died, a far cry from the rough annual count of 17,500 registered with the disease prior to the war. In June, a brand new cholera treatment center run by Doctors Without Borders was hit by an airstrike. A struggling economy has forced many hospitals to close around the country or work on bare minimum, such as this children's cancer ward. We have a shortage of nurses. We haven't enough doctors. The war, it will affect all the aspects of the life. The price of everything here because of this crisis is increasing too much. Most patients are not able to finish their chemotherapy treatment due to the unaffordability of it or simple access to it. You come here and there is no medicine. There are no needles. You've seen how dirty this place is. The smell. The place stinks. They're not even able to repair the lift. The NGOs give money, but we don't see where that money is going. It doesn't reach us. The good news is that care and awareness for cholera is improving across Yemen, but health care in general has become one of the most detrimental casualties of this war. While the majority is cured of cholera with proper medical attention, without an improvement to their living environment, many are susceptible to catching the disease again. And with the heavy rains of winter on its way, the spread of cholera is likely to be more rampant. Natalie Carney for CGTN in Aden, Yemen.